Hey folks, this is Gabe at security.org and today we're gonna to take a look at the second generation ring alarm home security system. In today's review of the Ring Alarm second generation home security system, I'm gonna go over what's new, the pros and cons, the system components, the feature set, the installation experience, the customer support, the mobile app, before I let you know who I think this device is particularly good for. If you wanna read my full comprehensive written review of the Ring Alarm second generation home security system, head on over to security.org. There you'll not only find my full review, but you'll also find some comparisons and tips and guides on how to keep you and your family safe. Let's kick off today's look at the Ring Alarm second generation by going over what's new. Now, the base station is mostly the same, but you will note that the other devices are generally smaller and have an improved look and feel. Beginning with the keypad, the keypad is definitely smaller than the previous generation. And what I particularly like about it is that it actually has three separate buttons that gives you a direct connection to the authorities you may wanna call. You have the police, fire, and medical button. You hold it for three seconds and that will send the proper authorities to the address you have on file with the ring. Then you'll note at the motion sensor has a button and indicator light on it now as well, a slimmer profile and it's easy to set up and it will actually ignore pets. Then you have your contact sensors, which also now come with the indicator light powered by two coin cell batteries, uh, which is different than the previous generation. Finally, you have a slimmer profile for your range extender and it also comes with an indicator light. Now I wanna talk about the pros and cons with the Ring Alarm second generation home security system. Now, when it comes to pros, we have to talk about the professional monitoring being just $10 a month. That's incredibly affordable uh, and a lot less expensive than many of the competitors out on the market. Then I wanna talk about the fact that you can actually integrate this with the Amazon Smart Platform, which gives you a number of devices in which you can interact and integrate your Ring Alarm second generation home security system. And finally, I just wanna talk about how affordable it is. The base system is gonna cost you $200, but really you're gonna start seeing more savings in terms of it being a really modular, robust system, allowing for you to add any number of other security devices. It's really gonna save you money in the long term as compared to some of the other systems when it comes to adding more pieces. Now, when it comes to cons with the Ring Alarm second generation home security system, I do wanna point out that Ring in the past has had a lot of issues when it comes to privacy. Now, that being said, they have incorporated in recent months things like two-factor authentication to help mitigate these concerns. Now that we've gone over the pros and cons, I wanna talk about the system components with your Ring Alarm second generation home security system. Now you can order right off the bat a 5, 10, or 14 piece kit. Now if you need additional sensors, you can of course order whatever you need, whatever cameras you might want to have, but you should also note that as you're going about this process of fleshing out your system, you can actually mix and match sensors from the first and second generation of the Ring Alarm home security system. So let's cover what's included in that five piece kit. In that five piece kit, you're gonna get your base station. Now this is probably the most important element as it connects the rest of your sensors and devices uh, to your ring alarm system as you'll see it like in your mobile application. This connects to your Wi-Fi, and it also serves as a 104 decibel siren. Now if you look at your keypad, you note that the keypad gives you not only the options to arm home or arm away or disarm your home security system, but it also has these new buttons that allow for you to call directly to whatever authorities you need to reach out to, be it medical, fire, or police. Then you have your motion detector. Motion detector goes up on your wall, typically in a corner, and allows you to know if an intruder has made it inside of your home. Uh, now that's gonna be basically the second line of defense beyond your contact sensors. Your contact sensors go above your window or your door to ensure uh, that no one has opened or closed those places or hasn't been any entry into your home. And finally, you have your range extender. Now it does just that, it amplifies the distance to which your sensors can actually be 
found by your base station to ensure that all your devices and sensors are working correctly. In addition to these core components, you have a number of other sensors available to you in the Ring ecosystem. You have flood and freeze sensors, along with smoke and CO2 sensors, and then you have a wide, wide, wide catalog of cameras and doorbells that you can add to the rest of your Ring home security system. Well, hold on, I hope you're enjoying today's look at the Ring Alarm second generation home security system. If you wanna be kept up to date on the newest in home security and digital security, subscribe to our channel, security.org. We're dropping new content weekly. All right, let's get back to the video. Now I'm talking about the feature set with the Ring Alarm second generation home security system, beginning with professional monitoring. That's that team of experts 24-7, 365, ensuring that everything is fine inside of your home and around your home. And what I love about this with the Ring is that it's so affordable. The Ring Protect plan is just $10 a month. On top of getting that protection with the professional monitoring, you're getting 60 days video recorded history with all of your cameras. And you're also gonna get the ability to not only have whole Wi-Fi connection, but cellular backup. So if something goes out with your internet, something's wrong, you're gonna have that cellular backup. And if that's not enough, you also get a 24 hour battery backup. So if you lose power, you're still gonna have 24 hours of protection. Taking a look at arming and disarming your Ring Alarm second generation, you have a number of options. You can do it inside of the app. That's the Ring Always Home app. You have the keypad, which allows you to arm and disarm. And you, of course, have your own codes that you can press directly into the keypad. And then you can actually arm and disarm just using your voice and the Amazon smart platforms like an Echo or things of that nature. Now, the modes for arm and disarmed are three. You have just generally disarmed mode where everything is off. You have home arm mode, and that will ensure that your entry sensors are all still active, but will ignore uh, your motion detector so you can walk around inside of your home. Then you have your away armed, and away armed is going to make sure that every single element of your home security system is active. Now, what I like about this system is that it actually gives you a lot of options for other folks, because you may want to have other people have access to your system. You can create different levels of users that can gain access to your home, arm and disarm it, and you can also create temporary guest codes and access uh, for those who you may not want to always have access, but who you need to give access to for any period of time. I love the customization with the Ring Alarm second generation home security system. You have the ability to see everything that's going on inside of your home in the event history timeline. And that is accessible from both the Ring Always Home mobile application and also the online portal that Ring has available. And not only that, but you can customize exactly what notifications you receive. So if I decide, you know what, uh, I wanna see uh, the things from my motion sensor, but not necessarily my entry sensor or vice versa, I can set that up to my heart's content. Uh, and I really like that element. And when it comes down to, for example, even customizing the motion sensor, I can decide I do wanna see my pet's activities throughout the day, or I don't wanna see my pet's activities throughout the day. And you can even link your cameras to your devices so that if my motion detector or my entry sensor is triggered, my cameras will begin to record so I can see exactly not only the moment that something happened with the event notification, but it actually see what happened itself because the cameras have been triggered to record. Now, speaking of cams, you have the full catalog of Ring cameras available, accessible to you, that allow you to see exactly what's taking place around your home in conjunction with your Ring Alarm Home Security System. So you may have something like the Ring Video Doorbell 3, uh, which allows you to see exactly what's taking place in front of your home. Uh, it's really useful. And if you add on things like the Ring Protect Plus plan, you're talking two months of video history. And if you have something like an Amazon Echo Show, you can actually live stream what's happening outside of your home or in another room directly to that device and see it clearly on that display. So overall, you have a pretty robust feature set with the Ring Alarm home security system. Let's check out the installation with Ring Alarm. It is overall a really pleasant experience because everything comes directly in the box, it's DIY, everything you need is here. You don't need to think of anything else. You're gonna take out that base station, plug it in, connect it to your Wi-Fi, 
and then you're just gonna be humming along after that. You're essentially gonna take each piece, pull the tabs, connect the device to your ring base station, which is already connected to the rest of your system. And you're just gonna go through for each of your devices, your motion sensors, your contact, pulling those tabs, connecting devices, and then it's just a peel and stick. You're gonna peel off the adhesive, stick it exactly where you need it to be on your wall with your motion sensor and your contact sensor. You're gonna, of course, just plug in your range extender and your keypad. So overall, it's a really straightforward experience. And if you need any more help, they have a number of install guides available for you to access. Now let's talk about customer support with the Ring Alarm home security system, second generation. Now they have a number of guides. I'm talking tons of guides available for you on their website. And if that's not really your thing, they have a number of video tutorials to help guide you through any process you may have when it comes to setting up or problem solving, troubleshooting your Ring Alarm home security system. Now, if you need a little bit more hands-on work, you can just give them a call directly and get the help that you need or if you're like me, you tend to not like calling on the phone too much or you've had a long day, you can actually just chat with them directly on the Ring website. So they really do give you a number of options when it comes to customer support with your Ring Alarm home security system. Now let's check out the mobile app experience with the Ring Alarm System with the Ring Always Home app. Now the Ring Always Home app seems to be pretty well liked across the board. It has a 4.1 out of 5 star rating in the Apple App Store and a 3.7 out of 5 star rating in the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and check it out on my iPhone. Here I am checking out the Ring Alarm, second generation in the Ring Always Home mobile application. Now right off the bat you see at the top you have three different options for disarmed, home armed, and away armed. So let's go ahead and check out that home armed. I tap home and armed. And, armed. and now you can see that it's arming my systems, arming the active cameras. So let's go ahead and disarm it now. And it always alerts me with notification on my phone that someone has armed or disarmed the system. And I can do the same for away. So if I tap that. It begins the exit delay, giving me one minute to get out of my house because once this ends, all of my various sensors and alarms will be on. So let's go ahead and disarm. disarm. So now I've disarmed the system. Now let's jump into our history. Now if I look at the history, I can look at the history of my cameras. We wanna focus on the alarms today and I look at the second generation Ring Alarm home security system. And you can see here that my recent disarming is on there along with my various edits that I've made to the system, along with any time I've opened or closed a window or a motion detector has detected something. So it's really useful to be able to look back at the history of each one of the individual devices inside of your Ring Alarm Home Security System. So let's go ahead and jump into each device's settings. So I go in the upper left-hand corner, I can go into devices, my base station, and now you'll note that all my alarm devices are available uh, to edit. So if I were to go and look, for example, at my front window, now I have different options. I can open alerts, I can have closed alerts, decide if I actually wanna see all of those. I can look at the event history specifically for this device here. I can go into settings, and here I can change the name of the device. I can change the room, the placement. Currently it's a window device, but I can change that as I see fit. Now if I go back, I can do the same with my motion detector. I can actually do a little bit more with motion detector because there is that flexibility depending on what your household looks like. So if I go into motion settings, I can decide, you know, do I wanna uh, have my pets be detected or not? Um, and you'll note that it basically tells you if you have low detection, it's designed uh, for ignoring larger or multiple pets, uh, medium, detection for you know one or small pets or high detection which i can use right now because i do not have any pets unfortunately so i can go back and i can go even into mode settings and decide if i want it to be uh, on when i'm in away mode or home mode just get a number of different options along with of course being able to go into that event history and see whenever motion was detected or not detected and you can do this with each one of these devices from your base station all the way down to your range extender uh, where you have some flexibility in naming and doing uh, various things to help you customize your Ring Alarm second generation. And that's a look at the Ring Alarm second generation home alarm system in the Ring Always Home mobile application. <music> 
now we're gonna roll out today when it comes to the Ring Alarm second generation home security system. You're saying, Gabe, who is this for? Well, I think it's for the person who wants real affordability when it comes to their system. The base kit, it's just $200. And that gets you started with the Ring Alarm home security system. And if you're looking at professional monitoring, which you probably should be, it's just gonna be $10 a month, uh, which is a price that we honestly think is unparalleled in the market today. Well, it's also for the person who really wants the widest selection of cameras available for them to supplement their home security system. I mean, I don't know if any other company has as many different cameras as Ring. You're talking your Ring video doorbells, you're talking your Ring outdoor cameras, your Ring indoor cams there are just a number of devices that Ring has made available when it comes to seeing what's going on, like physically seeing what's going on in and around your home. On top of that, they have just incredible integration with the Amazon platform. So what does that mean for me? Well, it means that I can arm and disarm my system just using my voice with my Amazon Echo Dot. It means that I'm trying to see what's going on in my backyard and I can ask for the live stream on my Amazon Echo Show. So overall, I think that Ring has done a great job with this refresh of the Ring Alarm Home Security System. This second generation is bringing a lot to the table. And overall, I think it's a great choice for keeping you and your family safe. So that's our look at the Ring Alarm second generation home security system. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please drop it below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you appreciated today's video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at security.org. Be secure.